Hey everyone, welcome to Home School, and this is the final session on a chapter matter in our surrounding. And the previous concepts video links are provided in the description. You can go and watch. And today I am going to talk everything about evaporation. Evaporation. Okay, fine. And we all have studied how actually liquids. Gets converted into vapor, isn't it? Say, how did we convert water into water vapor? We converted that on heating. Say, when we heated water, it became water vapor. Okay, but every time the liquid, when it gets converted into water vapor, should we heat it? Every time on heating only, it will get converted into vapor. No. One example I'll give you. Say you take a bowl of water, you keep it near your window, open your window and keep a bowl of water near your window and mark the level of water. Say for example, I have a bowl and till here, you know, till here I took a water, mark it, mark it, initial level you mark it and this one I kept it near a window. After two days, you observe the same bowl of water. Definitely your water level will decrease. Your water level will decrease. After two days or one day you observe the same cup of water. Your amount of water in a baker would definitely decrease. Did you heat here? On heating is your water become into vapor? What happened to that water? You have not heated it. But it has converted into water vapor and it went into the atmosphere. This is what we call evaporation. Every time we no need to heat uh, to convert liquid into its vapor. Sometimes with some liquids, I'm not talking about all liquids. Few liquids have a tendency of escaping into atmosphere. Okay, they naturally have tendency of escaping into atmosphere as vapor. Some liquids have this property and that is what we mean by evaporation. So, how do we define evaporation? It is the process of converting liquid into its vapor at any temperature below its boiling point. Okay, below its boiling point. See here to convert this much amount of water into vapor, I didn't heat this at 100 degrees centigrade. No. Below its boiling point at any temperature, at normal room temperature, it got into vapor. Right? So that's what we mean by evaporation. So every time it's not that on heating, the liquid gets converted into vapor. Sometimes. It can take place just at any temperature. Okay. So, this evaporation is seen only for few liquids that you keep in mind. Huh? Okay. Fine. So, let us now write the definition for evaporation. Conversion of, conversion of liquid, liquid into vapor vapor liquid into its vapor liquid into its vapor below below its boiling point below its boiling point at any temperature at any temperature is called as evaporation Okay, say for example, you have washed your clothes, water content is there in a cloth, you kept it for drying, do you heat to make that water to go into uh, vapor, into the atmosphere? No, right, you will not heat that cloth, automatically when you keep it for drying, after some time you come and observe the water content which was there in the cloth could have evaporated on its own. It's not that you have to heat, okay, to make that water uh, to escape into atmosphere. No, it has occurred on its own. So, that's what we mean by evaporation, okay, fine. And now we will discuss about factors affecting evaporation. Factors affecting 
evaporation. You know, evaporation depends on certain factor. Okay, let us discuss about them. First factor, first one is surface area. Surface area. What do you mean by surface area? The area occupied by a liquid is called surface area. Okay, say for example, I have one big bowl. I have, you know, a small bowl. Okay, I have water in this bowl. I do have water in this bowl also. Okay, can you tell me in which bowl you would observe the faster evaporation? See, both bowls you keep it near a window. Give equal, take equal amount of, here also you take 10 ml of water, here also you take 10 ml of water. Okay, both bowls you keep it near a window. In which case, water would decrease more. More evaporation was observed in this particular bowl. Yes or no? The bowl which is bigger and longer, right? It's because the surface area is more. The area occupied by the water is more. You know, evaporation is a surface phenomenon. So, usually the molecules which are there at the surface, no, they will evaporate first. They will evaporate first. The molecules which are there in a surface. Here, the surface area is very less. You know, few molecules are only there in a surface uh, uh, thing, right? So, here you see only four molecules of water evaporated. But here, how many molecules? One, two, three, four, five, six, many molecules would occupy the surface because you took bigger bowl, more area was there, right? So, as the surface area increases, evaporation will increase. So, uh, what I can write here as surface area, area increases, evaporation increases, evaporation increases, okay, very, very important. Say, uh, when you have hot milk or coffee, uh, if you want to uh, make it cool sooner, what will you do? You will take it in a big container, big plate and you will make it dry so that it will become cool sooner instead of taking that milk in a very, uh, you know, little container, very small container, right? So, as the surface area increases, evaporation increases, clear? Fine. And the next point is temperature. Evaporation also depends on temperature. Okay, definitely if the temperature of atmosphere is very much higher, you know what, during summers, our cloths will get to dry faster, right, uh, compared to rainy season or winters. It's because outside atmospheric temperature itself is very much high. So, as temperature increases, our evaporation process also increases, right. So, what I will write here, as temperature increases, evaporation increases evaporation increases remember right and the third factor is wind wind okay say uh, even during uh, the season where you have lots of wind cloths will get dry very sooner right because of the wind so as the wind blows onto a cloth wet cloth you know, it will get dry soon because the evaporation increases. Okay. So, as the wind energy increases, our evaporation also increases. Right. And now, let me talk about the fourth factor, humidity. Humidity. So, what do you mean by humidity? Already some amount of water vapor is present in atmosphere. Then we say that atmosphere is humid. Okay, say uh, when you go to a coastal area, we say that the environment or the atmosphere is very much humid, right? Uh, it's because, you know, in the coastal area, you have big ocean where the water vapor originally that is present in the atmosphere would be greater because water bodies are there, water would have evaporated. So, in the humid areas, evaporation takes place very little. Okay, evaporation process actually decreases. Clear? So, what I can write here is, as humidity increases in atmosphere, as humidity increases, our evaporation, the extent of evaporation decreases. Okay? So, evaporation doesn't occur in a 
a better way say the same bowl of water uh, when you keep it uh, in a humid condition right already water vapor is there in atmosphere then that point of time this this water which is there in a bowl will not evaporate that easily to humid atmospheres okay so these are the four factors that affect evaporation as the surface area increases evaporation increases as temperature increases evaporation also would be greater as wind energy increases evaporation would be greater but in the humid atmosphere evaporation decreases okay so this is the most important thing you will have to remember for examination point of view okay so this is evaporation and factors affecting evaporation and now actually this process of evaporation brings cooling let us see how this evaporation can bring the cooling in the atmosphere so here let me try to give the answer for this question how does evaporation evaporation brings cooling brings cooling you know what imagine i have a bowl of water a bowl of water i kept outside okay so this is the outside environment you know this is surrounding i will call this as surroundings outside environment is called surrounding okay fine and you know evaporation happens so this is a water water has a ability to evaporate so uh, you know uh, the molecules which are there on the surface will evaporate okay evaporate and during this evaporation these particles would have lost their energy okay so they 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 would have become very much tired okay moving from uh, bowl to outside environment that is to the surrounding okay and they they lost their energy during movement okay and you know what even we will also lose energy you know so after we uh, run from one place to another place automatically we will become very tired and we will lose so much energy the same thing here so when these molecules which were in the beaker they evaporated outside you know with lots of energy they had lost their energy so what will these molecules do they absorb heat energy they will absorb heat from surrounding from surrounding okay so surrounding would have some amount of heat right say so from surrounding they will absorb heat energy and that way the surrounding area is becoming cooler when the heat has gone to uh, these molecules then that area will become cooler only so this is how you know the evaporation will bring cooling okay so what you can write here during evaporation during evaporation what would happen the evaporated the evaporated particles particles would would lose their energy would lose energy so they absorb they they want to regain their energy say after you run you will lose energy but you want to gain back your energy right to gain back your energy you will drink some energy drink or you will eat some food similarly evaporated molecule with lots of uh, energy by spending lots of energy they went outside to the atmosphere uh, there they want their energy back so they absorb heat they will get energy here energy means heat okay so they get their uh, energy in the form of heat from surrounding so automatically that surrounding would lose its heat now so that surrounding is becoming cooler okay say so that is what i am going to write in the form of sentence so what did i write during evaporation the evaporated particles would lose energy so they absorb so they absorb heat from surrounding from surrounding surrounding this makes this makes the surroundings this makes the surroundings cooler 
cooler right so this is the reason why we say evaporation leads to cooling of atmosphere see the best example i can tell you is uh, when you have a nail polish remover <coughs> if it falls on your palm how do you feel you feel your palm is getting cooler and cooler right so what would have happened here is the molecules of uh, nail polish remover would get heat from your palm okay say they are evaporating on to your palm okay say they, they they are getting heat from your palm so your palm is actually losing its heat your body will have certain amount of heat right so that heat is taken up by the nail polish uh, remover particles so your palm is losing uh, the heat energy so you feel your palm getting cooler and cooler okay say so this is what uh, the evaporation brings cooling means clear fine say in a similar way you know what uh, when you have a ice cold water when you have ice cold water imagine here you have ice cold water okay and after some time when you observe this glass you know from the outside you will observe this water droplets getting accumulated on outside the glass yes or no so ice cold water you add it to a glass just observe after few seconds 10 to 20 seconds you will observe small water droplets being accumulated on outside part not inside of the glass outside of the glass right say why does this happen it is also it's because you know this you kept it in atmosphere right atmosphere has lots of gases right and here uh, it has water vapor along with the gases it has water vapor so this water vapor from atmosphere it will go and hit this surface okay so the moment it hits the surface its energy will be lost okay the uh, the water vapor which is there in the surrounding area uh, this water vapor particles when they hit this glass what will happen they will lose their heat energy okay they lose their heat energy and you know that gas will get condensed into liquid it was there in a gas form but now it is getting con condensed into liquid form okay on cooling gas becomes liquid we studied that right when does the gas becomes liquid on cooling so the moment uh, uh, the gas that is the water vapor present in the surrounding area hits this glass you know it's 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 a much cold temperature very less temperature right so cooling takes place automatically condensation occurs that means the gas particles are becoming into liquid there right they are losing the gas particles are actually losing their energy losing their heat energy and they are becoming into liquid condensation is taking place here so that's the reason uh, around uh, the surface glass surface of ice cold water you you will find small water droplets getting accumulated okay it's it it is actually the vapor from atmosphere underwent condensation okay on the surface of a glass outer surface of a glass so guys that's all about evaporation so evaporation definition is important factors affecting evaporation and how does the evaporation brings cooling and various uh, applications of evaporation i can say so all these are important topics itself so with this i am completing the chapter and uh, if you have any doubts you can post it in a comments we will try to give answers for those questions so let me meet you all with the next chapter in the next sessions till then revise the concepts and do subscribe our channel to learn the concepts in a easiest way and in a detailed way thank you so much